Uh, hey Jack, uh, I'm writing an email. Could you please help me out? Sure, why not? Uh, so what do you call something that's uh, very crowded? Um, it's bustling. Mm, okay. The restaurant was bustling with customers today. Now, what do you call someone who is very angry? Um, furious? Okay. But one of our customers got furious. Uh, now, what do you call something that's very smelly? Um, it's called pungent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. He was furious because of the pungent smell of onions. Uh, now, tell me what do you call something that's very big? Um, it's massive. Oh, oh, yeah. He created a massive problem. Uh, now, what do you call someone who is very calm? Um, it's very easy. Serene. Oh, okay. I tried to keep myself serene, but I failed miserably. But at the end, anyhow, the problem was solved. So... Please don't fire me. I assure you, it won't be repeated in the future. I'm really sorry though. <sighs> Finally done. So friends, today we learned advanced expressions that you can use instead of using very. So the first expression was bustling. It can be used in place of very crowded. The second one was furious. It's used instead of very angry. Now the third one was uh, pungent. It means something that's very smelly. The fourth one was massive. It means something that's very big. The fifth and the last one was serene. It means some, to be very calm. So, today we learned many new advanced expressions that you can use instead of using the old basic expressions. So, I hope you'll use these ones, the advanced and nuanced expressions in your future conversations. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and also leave your comments. I love to read them and they motivate me a lot. Your comments mean a lot to me. So, bye-bye. I'll meet you soon in the next video.